All right, ready to go. Did you notice that on the top left there are three holders for your hex keys? But what I want to talk about is lubrication. It's a physical machine with physical needs. If you keep the rods and all the contacts between surfaces reasonably lubricated, the machine will work for longer and be happier. To some extent, it's your choice, though. You can not care. Uh, it's going to get dusty. It's going to be noisy. It's going to break down a bit sooner, but it's going to work mostly fine. But you want to do that. What I like to do, I'm just opening this, there we go. What I like to do is to just take some sort of tissue or rag, clean one ideally, and then put a little bit of the lubrication directly onto the smooth rods and sort of wipe it down. This way I will both clean it and lubricate it without having excessive rundown. <laughs> and you can feel it too, you can feel right away that you know, the rod should not be dry. Same thing for the Y axis. Now, as for, as for what oil you want to use, currently with Jellybox we ship a quite basic tri-flow bicycle chain loop. That one is quite thin and it works fine for the rods and it works fine for the lead screw. Let's put some there. The lead screw can get a bit noisy initially because you actually have a metal on metal contact. There's no ball bearing there. Just put a few drops up here, down here, and as we're printing it's going to travel down through the lead screw and going to make it nice and smooth. So the trifle work, the triflow or you know any thin bicycle loop works fine for that. Uh, for the lead screw itself, if you have white lithium grease, I think it's actually better than the thin stuff. But for the smooth rod, you want a thinner thing. Something like Super Lube is very popular among different 3D printer builders. But honestly, it all works fine and everything is better than nothing. Maybe not olive oil. <laughs>